Hey everyone, I'm Thrift Store Dave and I'm very excited today because I was able to do my first ever estate sale private viewing. Um, one of my subscribers um, has a family member who lives in Palos Park, Illinois, and she invited me to um, peruse their estate before anyone else was open to it um, because she knows that I like to buy and sell small items. So I'm going to next go through um, the $200 that I spent on various items that I plan to resell. We were able to have some really good um, fair negotiations where she was able to get fair prices for her items and I was able to have a little bit of room to make some profit uh, with some side agreements that I'll tell you about as well. So let's begin. I'll show you what we got. Okay, so everybody who knows me knows that I enjoy buying hats and my friend knows this too. So first thing she had out along her countertop were all the hats that were for sale. So negotiated a very good price of a dollar per hat. Got a ton of hats. Um, some of these, I don't know if I can resell, but my thought was there were others that were worth more. So this will make it uh, worth the purchase. I got a Cubs World Series hat. Those tend to do pretty well. They'll do better the longer the Cubs go before they win the World Series again. Uh, there was a Blackhawks World Champions hat. If I can clean that one up um, with my washing machine, I'll do okay on that. Um, and a couple other Cubs hats and Bears hats, um, that'll do okay. But of the hats that um, I got, the ones that impressed me the most were um, some military hats. Um, her father was a veteran, and so I was able to get a couple actual servicemen hats that I'm gonna do some homework on um, to be able to um, get good value on. Um, one of the side agreements that we had was that if anything I sell goes for way, way more than either she or I thought they would go for, I did promise to give her some extra cash. So um, my hope is that will happen. But yeah, a couple other military hats um, and then a stack of the um, shorter type of hats. So I probably got about 18 hats for $18. So that was a great value. Um, after that, um, I did get a very interesting um, lead glass golf ball with golf club stand clock. Now, as I turn it around, the clock part has fallen in. I have to see if I can repair it. Um, it was only $5 knowing that it may be resold as is and someone else might put the work into it, but it's a really nice piece. It displays very well, provided the timepiece is working. So this is like low risk, high reward potentially. Also digging through various parts, um, we're able to find a Citizen Eco Drive watch. It's been used, but it has its original box and container. So my hope is that um, I put a battery in it, it starts to run well, and I um, can do very well than the $10 that um, I paid for it. Um, there were a lot of um, interesting parts of different types. So one of the interesting things that I found was um, related to model airplanes because her father was a model airplane uh, collector. And there are a lot of these types of calibrator tools and kits. Now this one was incomplete. I believe we agreed on, I think $10 maybe for it, but a lot of these can go for various sums of money. And so um, I think I can do better obviously than the 10 I paid for it. Um, there are some that again go for way higher, but if I were to get 20 or 30 bucks for it, it was worth my time to purchase it and resell it. Um, along those lines, um, got a couple of shirts because um, they were for a chapter of a Academy of Model Aeronautics. Um, and so these have patches on the front and the back. And she was comfortable selling them to me for $5 a piece. One of them has a stain here, no big deal. The patches I think are gonna be what draws people's attention. So I thought for $10, these two shirts were a good deal. I think somebody's gonna find them interesting and collectible. Um, I have a bunch of other stuff here in the bags below me, but rather than you see the top of my head as I continue to pick things up, I am gonna move some stuff around and then I'm gonna turn the camera right back on. Okay, so I'm reorganized and back. Um, this next bunch of items come from a lot of things I found in the garage. So um, I love digging through garages because there's tools, there's parts of things, there's often carburetors and interesting things that can be resold either individually or in lot format. And so in the case like this, I was able to get a bunch of different model airplane engines or carburetors. And so um, for the uh, smaller ones, I believe I paid $10 a piece. Some of these might be worth just that. Some might be worth more. I think I'll average out to do okay. Um, 
And then there were larger ones that I got that I paid $20 a piece for because, again, I believe these are worth much more. I was able to look a few up in front of her and we negotiated a fair price with, with some meat on the bone. So I got a few of those as well. I was very happy. Um, a really interesting one was when we were just digging through cabinets and we found a non-specific box and it was marked Lewin. And I'm still not sure exactly what this is, but it is a well, it says it's a change over contactor and it's 12 volt. So it's probably used for something mechanical. I'm not super mechanically inclined, but I looked these up. This one's new in box and they could go for as much as 150. I'm going to either auction it and see if I can just get rid of it for a little less on the first try. But um, she knew that I wanted to make some profit on it. She didn't know she had it. So in this case, we actually negotiated downward. It was kind of funny and she was comfortable letting it go for $35. So that gave me some profit uh, margin, no matter what this sells for. And I can move it pretty quickly. A um, few items to go here along the same theme with the um, airplanes. There were a lot of wooden blades. And so propeller blades, be they plastic or wooden, can vary in value. And I did some research on them. They can be a dollar or two a piece. They can be $15 a piece. So my thinking was to buy them in a lot and sell them a lot. I grabbed a whole handful of them. And then I also found this other interesting three propeller, uh, three blade propeller. Um, and these can go for up to 20 bucks. I was able to get the whole kit and caboodle for $22. We were kind of rounding up as we were totaling things up. So I've got some room for profit. If there's a couple nice ones in there that I'm not aware of, I can move them along and a collector can get a whole cache of them at once. So that'd be a win for everyone. Um, last thing I purchased was a very interesting piece. Um, it was a pocket watch and it was made by Elgin. So Elgin has made um, watches for a long, long time. This one looks really old. The second hand is down here. I was able to wind it and demonstrate that it worked, but there's no markings on the back. It's pretty faded and worn. So what we agreed upon here was a consignment situation. So I'm gonna put it up for sale. And if it goes for not much, then I'll give her a cut of not much. But if this is a rare piece for some reason and it's in working condition due to its um, you know, age, then I'm obviously gonna um, send some extra cash along her way. So we're, we're agreeing to see how this goes because neither of us knew enough about it to give it a fair price uh, due to its lack of um, labels or serial numbers. So gonna Google image this, gonna do some homework um, and then put it up and let's see what we get for it. Um, very last thing I wanna show you is something I didn't pay for, um, but she was kind enough to give to me, to give to my boys. So um, there are a bunch of model cars because her father used to love um, different exotic uh, cars. So Porsche, Lamborghini, Ferrari. And so um, ones that are new in box for this type of scale are probably in the 10 to $15 range, but they're heavy to ship. So it's pretty cumbersome to buy and sell them, but I've got young boys. And so she said, take them, give them to your boys and play with them. She's keeping the ones in the boxes. So if anyone watching this video is interested, let me know, I can facilitate a sale for you guys. These are amazing, gorgeous, from the 80s, large scale cars. We've got the um, Lamborghini, um, and then we had some Ferraris, and these date to the mid 80s, 84, 87, and they are different models. So really cool cars, the hoods flip up. My boys are gonna love them. Thank you very much for um, for gifting these to me. They're, they're going to a good home and they're gonna stay here and get played really hard. Um, but again, they weren't new in the box. And so um, they didn't have much after market sale value. So um, she was very kind in letting me have them. This was the whole lot of everything that I found at the estate sale preview. Uh, again, thank you very much to um, my friend subscriber for um, inviting me in and um, having some fun conversation. It was it, very enjoyable for me. I hope it was for you. Um, and uh, I am gonna include some information about the date of the estate sale for the larger items. If anyone local is interested, I'll be able to help promote it uh, for her um, as this video gets published. So with the information she is comfortable um, sharing, I'm gonna put those in the video um, comments section. And if you are interested, please pop by uh, at that date. I believe it will be in October uh, or early November. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, again, thank you for watching the video. 
Uh, please like it if you did. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, likes and subscribes help my channel grow, and help it get distributed to new viewers so I can share these interesting findings uh, with others. Um, please also check out my videos that I have about items I've sold and what I've sold them for. So when you go out picking at garage sales, estate sales, or thrift stores, you can um, see what items might have some value and, and know not to overpay for them. So uh, thank you so much again. I'm Thrift Store Dave. I'll see you guys next week.